Matchstick Men is a movie that takes you on a thrilling journey into the world of con artists, where deception is an art and trust is as elusive as a unicorn. Our protagonist, Roy Waller, played by the ever enigmatic Nicolas Cage, is a con man extraordinaire. He's got the skills, the smarts, and the nerves of steel. Well, almost. You see, Roy has a little secret, or rather a big secret that he's desperately trying to keep under wraps. He's not just a master of the con, he's also a slave to his own mind. Roy suffers from obsessive compulsive disorder to the nth degree. His life is a carefully constructed web of rituals and routines designed to keep his anxiety at bay. Enter his partner in crime, Frank Mercer, portrayed by the smooth-talking and effortlessly cool Sam Rockwell. Together, Roy and Frank are a conning duo that could give even the most seasoned tricksters a run for their money. They're experts in the long con, the art of swindling people out of their hard-earned cash with style and finesse. Their cons are like a carefully choreographed dance, each step perfectly timed and executed. From fake lottery tickets to phony investment schemes, they've done it all. And they've also managed to stay one step ahead of the law. But even the best con men have their limits and Roy's secret OCD threatens to be his Achilles heel. The movie kicks into high gear when a curveball by the name of Angela, played by the talented Alison Lohman, enters the picture. Angela claims to be Roy's long-lost daughter, a revelation that sends shockwaves through his meticulously organized world. Roy has never been the family type, but here she is, all grown up and eager to connect with her dear old dad. Angela is a breath of fresh air in Roy's life. She's quirky, adventurous, and shares his love of the con game. It's a match made in heaven, or maybe in a shady back alley. As they bond over their mutual love for bamboozling unsuspecting folks, Roy's carefully constructed life starts to crumble like a sandcastle hit by a tidal wave. Roy's OCD in intensifies with Angela's presence. He finds himself constantly on edge, struggling to maintain his routines while dealing with the unpredictable nature of the con game and the chaos of fatherhood. Counting steps, washing hands, organizing objects, his mind is a whirlwind of compulsions that threaten to unravel everything he's worked for. Nicolas Cage's portrayal of Roy's inner turmoil is nothing short of mesmerizing. He captures the character's anxieties and idiosyncrasies with such precision that you can't help but feel a pang of sympathy for this flawed yet endearing con man. Cage's performance is a roller coaster of emotions, taking us from the heights of confidence to the depths of vulnerability. As the father-daughter duo embarks on their conning adventures, they stumble upon a mark that promises a big payout, their biggest con yet. The target is a wealthy businessman named Chuck Frechette, played by the charismatic Bruce Altman. Roy and Angela devise an elaborate plan to swindle Chuck out of a hefty sum, but nothing is as simple as it seems. Along the way, Roy must navigate the treacherous waters of trust and loyalty. He finds himself torn between his shady past and the desire to be a good father figure to Angela. Can he protect her from the dark side of the con game? Or will she become just another pawn in their high stakes charade? The lines between reality and deception blur as Roy's OCD spirals out of control. He struggles to maintain his grip on reality while juggling the intricacies of the con and the demands of fatherhood. It's a high wire act that keeps you on the edge of your seat, 
wondering which way Roy will ultimately lean. But let's not forget about Frank, the suave and charming partner in crime, who's been by Roy's side all along. As the stakes get higher and the con gets more complex, Frank's loyalty is put to the test. Will he stand by Roy's side until the end, or will he succumb to the allure of a big score? As the movie hurtles towards its climax, the twists and turns come fast and furious. Loyalties are tested, secrets are revealed, and you'll find yourself questioning who's conning who. Just when you think you've got it all figured out, the rug gets pulled down from under you, and you're left reeling, mouth agape. spoiling too much, let's just say that the ending is a mind bender. It's the kind of conclusion that leaves you pondering the intricacies of human nature and the blurred lines between right and wrong. Matchstick Men is a con man, movie with a heart, a tale of redemption, family and the lengths we'll go to protect the ones we love. So my friends, grab some popcorn, settle into your comfy chair and get ready for a wild and mucky ride with Matchstick Man. It's a movie that combines the adrenaline pumping thrills of the con game with heartfelt performances and a dash of quirkiness. Just remember, in the world of con artists, nothing is what it seems. Trust is as fragile as a matchstick. Enjoy the show. Now go and watch the movie. This video has been sponsored by the author Greg Palmer to promote his new book, Infinity, which is available in all good booksellers on the internet, Amazon, Goodreads, etc, etc. Um, the link is in the comments. Take a look. It's pretty good. So here's the cover blurb. A university historian is forced to plunder high-value treasures of the past using a billionaire secret prototype of time tunneling technology and must battle a psychopath back in deep time as well as technology screw-ups and the universe itself. Edward Henson is at the peak of his academic career when he and his wife Katie are left critically injured by a car crash during a blizzard. A mysterious figure appears at the historian's hospital bedside and offers him a Faustian bargain. Full health aided by cutting edge chip implants upgrading his brain with all the knowledge of mankind. Or the bleak alternative, voluntary euthanasia. But if Henson accepts this deal, he must break with all of his academic ethics and travel back in time to steal the treasures of the past for his rich patron, Dominic Leblanc, a man who has almost everything money could ever buy. Meanwhile, Katie Henson is the millionaire's spare, but she escapes her patron's control and has plans of her own. Infinity is a fast-moving tale of love, betrayal, loss and revenge, grounded on the latest academic research on the nature of space-time and time travel. You should treat yourself to a fascinating light read which will remain with you long after you have finished the last chapter. Okay folks, that's it. 